Do you want to get better with one touch passes or even just quicker with two touch passes? Well, we've got you covered. Hey guys, it's Coach Phil. Today I'm going to show you three simple drills to help you become not only a better passer, but a quicker passer. So you can be more comfortable playing those very quick one and two touch passes in a game. Don't forget to stick around for the end so you can see our outtakes. Now you don't need much space for these drills and only a few cones. For this first drill, space those cones about 18 inches apart. You're going to start on one side and move through the cones, stepping in between the cones with each foot. Now that means whichever direction you're going in, use that foot first. So if you're going right, lead off with your right foot first. If you're going left, lead off with your left foot. When you get to the end, do a quick one touch back to your partner and then go back through the cones in the other direction. When you're going through the cones, try to pick up your knees and do not be flat footed. Go through these cones by quickly exploding as soon as the ball of your foot hits the ground or basically your toes. Your heel should never touch the ground when dashing through the cones. This will make you quicker. Now for the next drill, put the cones together and instead of stepping in between each cone, you're gonna quickly move side to side and around the cones as a whole. When you get to the other side, take a quick touch to receive the ball and quick touch back to pass. So we're going all two touch for this drill. Now the key for this drill, especially for younger and developing players, is to make sure that we minimize the amount of time from the moment we receive the ball to the moment we pass it. We want to improve our speed and reaction time whenever we practice this drill, and it should be a quick touch, touch, go. For the final version of this drill, it's gonna be the exact same thing, but now one touch. This is a great drill for players of all ages and all skill sets. As you become more advanced, just make sure you're focusing on crisp, clean passes and getting those passes right back to your partner. Don't make your partner have to reach or scramble to collect the ball and try to keep the ball down on the ground and not popping up in the air. And as we always say, mistakes are gonna happen, but this drill not only helps you to build quicker feet when moving side to side, but you're literally passing the ball every second or so. And soccer, or any sport for that matter, is all about repetition and muscle memory. So doing drills like this will quickly make you more proficient and more comfortable when needing to make a quick decision and a quick pass. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could do me a favor, please like and subscribe. Also, if you have any feedback or any drills that you would like us to cover, let us know. See you next time.